All right, let's talk a little bit about camber. Um, belt camber comes from improper storage of conveyor belts. So it's not an operational thing. It's just simply storing the belt. Camber is a curvature in the belt like you see in the photograph on the right. Three, inch of, three inches of camber per 100 foot of belt is not going to cause you a problem. More of, than that will cause you some belt tracking problems. So when I say three inches of camber per 100 foot, what I'm talking about is, let's say from this point to this point, in that length, if it's 100 feet, then we don't want any more than three inches of deviation from the straight line. Now this photograph has got, you can barely see it here, but it's got about 15 inches of deflection from that line. That belt is gonna be just about impossible to track properly. It's also gonna be very difficult to contain spillage and dust at the load point. If you've got a belt that has camber, you can identify it. It's very complex to test it, as you see in these photographs. An operational thing that you can do is if you watch that belt as it comes off the tail pulley, slowly, slowly, slowly start to wander to one side, and then slowly, slowly start to wander back, that's camber. Camber is also called cold flow. It can happen as quickly as in six weeks. It's not covered by manufacturer's warranty. Belts, in order to prevent camber, must be stored on a rack, like you see in the foreground of the photograph on the screen. The belt in the background on the right Eventually, that belt's going to get camber. Now, how sig I always get the question, how soon is camber going to happen? How bad can it get? Well, it's going to depend on how big the roll of belt is and how long it's stored. The bigger the roll of belt, the longer the storage, the more significant camber is. Can I store a belt like that? My answer to that would be not a good practice. There's a lot of weight to this belt, and all that weight is being absorbed on one side of the belt. And that can cause damage to that carcass. And that edge, if a cut edge is shown there, that can also absorb some moisture. So really the only recommended way to store a belt if it's for any period of time is through its core like you see in the photo in the foreground.